6.45 and it's already time to get down. I just watched Blade go into a fence row to bed down for the day and he's done this multiple times this season. We've basically got it narrowed down to <laughs> about a one acre, two acre piece that he has found as his sanctuary. He's got five does with him and very unlikely that he gets up out of his bed. We haven't seen him mid-morning, midday at all this season. Um, the only sightings we've had of him are early morning, heading into there to, to bed for the day. So he's an old smart buck. I'm gonna move my, I think I'm gonna have to move stand locations. It's southeast this morning, but we've got some cold front and some, some north, northwest coming. I need to get down on the other side of this, this fence row, so. He's outsmarted me once again. He keeps doing the same thing. He's not outsmarting me. <laughs> he just gets back to his bed before daylight. Just got set up. It's a perfect rainy, drizzly afternoon. I saw Blade this morning. And then he did the exact opposite of what I thought he was going to do. And he hit two different cell cameras today. We started off on the east end of the property and now we're down on the west end of the property. So I'm not, not real sure how far he made it this way, but We've got the right weather. He was traveling this morning. It's just after Thanksgiving, so big bucks are looking for the the last couple does that are in heat. And I'm hunting a great pinch point between a TSI sanctuary and a switchgrass sanctuary. So if he's at this end of the farm at all, he ought to pinch through here. This segment has been brought to you by Lone Wolf Tree Stands, your silent partner. wind. Hopefully tonight's the night.
ม้าtime and effort comes down to that right there and I don't know why it is so difficult to hit where you need to hit I think I'm too high really steeply quartered away I think I'm up in no man's land Only hope is opposite lung, but he wasn't acting hurt whenever he walked down that lane for five minutes. Pack everything up, back out. Come back in the morning with a dog, I guess. Freaking shame. Hey guys, here we are in the middle of December and it's getting colder. And that means cold feet. Cold feet is a big pet peeve of mine that I cannot stand. So a couple little tips I'm gonna give you today will hopefully help keep your feet warm. And the first thing I do is I use a dry stick deodorant and I put it on top of my feet, on the bottom of my feet, in between my toes. And what that does is it helps prevent your feet from sweating. The second thing I do, since I'm wearing the lacrosse boots, the cross actually sells these liner inserts here. And you put them on just like a shoe and then put your feet down inside the boot. And what these do is it helps trap the heat inside your boot, giving you warmer feet. So hopefully these couple tips will help you guys out in the field and keep those feet warm. I finally put an end to the buck we call Blade. It has been one hell of a roller coaster this season, and there are so many things to be thankful for. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know where to start. If we go back to October, early October, my number one hit lister I was after uh, got shot by Steve's fiance, Brittany, and he was a heck of a deer, biggest, biggest uh, scoring buck we had on trail camera and, and mature. Um, so he got he got knocked off right off the bat and then I started focusing on another buck that we've had a lot of history with on us on a different farm we've had pictures of him the last four years and he's five and a half or six and a half this year I had a lot of encounters with him early November but uh, unfortunately the the neighbors got him first uh, Friday night of first gun season so after the second buck I was chasing was gone we started started moving trail cameras around and, and focusing on this one and this buck's always had a, a really small home core in the fall uh, we are only on close to maybe 50 acres of cover here we got about 25 acres of grasses and we did a TSI and hinge cut another 25 acres so very very small property and it just goes to show the amount of time and effort we put into these you can get old mature bucks we had pictures of this deer the very first year we started here, and I don't know if he's seven and a half, eight and a half, he is old. He's been going downhill the last couple years. It has just been absolutely crazy um, chasing <laughs> chasing these, these deer this year. But 
last night we uh, I finally had it all come together perfect but of course I I was not happy with the shot I thought I was too high and up up in no man's land and we rewatched that video a hundred times and um, eventually just figured out that we were just gonna have to get lucky I mean we thought we we're gonna have to have the dog come in here this morning but um, I hunted this morning didn't see him from the stand so I um, got down went to where I last seen him uh, out in these grasses on these mowed trails and there's a little bit of blood not much and as I was walking out taking this path out he, he died right here in the middle of the lane um, so definitely by backing out last night that was the right answer Gave him, gave him overnight, and just had to, had to catch that, that opposite lung. But our neighbor gave us these last year. Thankful for him uh, being generous enough to give us this set of buck or set of antlers from this buck. Um, he always wintered about two miles from here. Uh, whenever we would, um, we we would never see him in the summer. Never have velvet but he was always here in the fall. And then come late season, he would be in a completely different area. But, so we knew we had to get on him early this year um, and, and get, it, get it done in November. Otherwise he was probably gonna move, move further west um, come late season like he's done in the past couple years. But he, uh, he avoided a couple arrows last year. Uh, Brittany had shot at him, so uh, the, like I said, the neighbor was, was generous enough to, to give us the antlers since we had the, the history with them. So thank you. Thank you for that. And we really appreciate that. We like sharing trail camera pictures with, with most of our neighbors and, you know, getting everybody on the same page of, of what bucks are to be passed and what bucks are, are truly shooters and everything. So it, it makes hunting a lot more fun whenever everybody on the block can chase, you know, five and a half plus bucks instead of... Uh, it seems like majority of the properties and stories are, you know, the neighbor shot another three and a half, and uh, it's, it's it's just one of those hard things every every landowner has to deal with. But I suggest getting a getting along with your neighbors and and try to try to get these bucks to as, as old as you can. I also want to thank my wife, of course, for putting up with my hunting addiction, and it's. It's just one of those crazy things where we usually get too caught up in the amount of time we spend in the woods and up in a tree, and we don't think about who we're leaving at home and you know the friends and family that that we abandon. So I definitely appreciate all the the hard work that she puts in taking care of me and the boys. It's not always uh, shown that I appreciate it, but but it is. It's. It's unreal how much she does for us, and I'm, I'm sure that goes for a lot of you other hunters. Um, I'm sure I can speak for all of us that we, we get a little too caught up in the amount of time we spend out here chasing these bucks. So this is the story. That is the end of the story. Another mature buck on the ground. Oldest buck I've ever chased, oldest buck I've ever killed. Small property started from scratch put in the time and effort and finally pulled it off serious land managers do everything they can to grow and harvest the biggest bucks possible maximizing herd health is part of any good management plan real world's exclusive expect healthy deer technology is a true game changer developed by professional animal nutritionists working with captive deer breeders expect healthy deer technology can help your herd by enhancing the immune system repelling insects, improving survival from disease outbreaks. This is going to lead to increased fawn production and antler growth on your property. To learn more, you can visit realworldwildlifeproducts.com.